Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. It's Question Tuesday, the day that I answer a prime number of real questions from real nerd fighters. Let's get right to it. What specific piece of art had a big impact on your life? This painting, which opened me up to the idea that there might be some kind of like direct form or expression for the deeply abstract and difficult to describe problem I have inside my brain. What's your third favorite type of rock? Um, Dwayne Johnson, in roll of Gibraltar. The Rock of Gibraltar is my third favorite type of rock. Any news on the Looking for Alaska series? Yeah, so my first novel, Looking for Alaska, is going to be adapted into a limited series on Hulu. It's still happening. I've read the script for the first episode. It's great. And that's about all I know. Oh, I do know one other thing, which is that in addition to not casting movies, I do not cast Hulu shows. Favorite song by the Mountain Goats? It's always changing, but at the moment, my favorite is a song called Weekend in Western Illinois. How do you measure success? What did I learn, and who did it help? What are you geeking out about these days. This novel by Tommy Orange, Dr. Benji FM's YouTube series in which he is the manager of a fictional football team. I have never been so invested in a series of pixels and the new season of the podcast In the Dark. Best prime number? I've always been partial to 37. Hey, why don't any of your books have a prime number of chapters? Right, so that is an inside joke I have with myself. All of my books have a number of chapters that is equal to a prime minus one. The Fault in Our Stars and Turtles All the Way Down both have 24 chapters. 23 is prime. Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and an Abundance of Catherines both have 20 chapters, 19 is prime. Paper Towns, if you count the prologue, has 32 chapters, 31 is prime. And Looking for Alaska has 60 chapters, if you count the author's note, 59 is prime. Now that I'm saying this out loud, it's a little weird. Wait, what other inside jokes do you have? I don't know, there's a bunch of them. Books take me a long time to write, so I have to find a way to entertain myself. Like, one example is that I use the word deadpan way too many times in Looking for Alaska, and so in every book since, I've used it exactly once. Are you writing a new book? Sometimes, but not usually. What are your most used emotions? Emojis. I'm not sure what this says about me. When does the Project for Awesome start this year? December 7th, so mark your calendars and block out that weekend if you can. This is a question from my four-year-old kid. Can you eat light? Yeah, I mean, in a roundabout way, you literally can't eat anything else. Why do people think pineapple pizza is bad? I wrote half an episode of my podcast, The Anthropocene Reviewed, about this link in the doobly-doo below, but did you know that pineapple on pizza was invented in 1962 by a Greek immigrant living in Canada who was inspired by Chinese cuisine to to put a South American food on an Italian dish. Pineapple pizza is peak Anthropocene, for better and for worse. What are you excited about right now? I really love making the Anthropocene Reviewed, actually. Also, I am so, so excited to go on tour with Hank in September. I don't know the next time we're gonna get to tour together, and I love it, so I'm just gonna try to relish it. I should say, by the way, that tickets are selling out in many places, so now is the time to get them at hankgreen.com. How excited are you for AFC Wimbledon's new season? Very. Also, all our ad Advertisements in the stadium are now advertisements for an absolutely remarkable thing, so Hank, you'll definitely be reaching that coveted demographic of third-tier English football supporters. And finally, are you ever gonna win at Fortnite? Right, so I play Fortnite as a pacifist over on Hank Games because I refuse to let the Epic Game Company turn me into a violent monster, and I will continue to play Fortnite as a pacifist until I win, or else people just get bored with Fortnite and stop playing. Probably that one. Thanks to Tuataria for making this glorious pizza, John, in Fortnite playground mode. Links to everything discussed in this video in the doobly-doo below. Hank, I will see you on Friday. P.S. If you count the intro and the outro and this, it's a prime plus one. Bye!